This is my first getting started tutorial on the ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module by the Espressive Systems. This is the same company that created the ESP8266 series of chips, modules and development boards. This episode only covers the extreme basics like for example ESP32 pinout, soldering, ESP32 Arduino IDE board manager installation and how to write a very basic program using the Arduino IDE to control an LED using the Blink application. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Espressif ASP32 WROOM 32D module. Before I'm going to explain anything, first I'm going to solder the mail headers so that I can easily use it with the Arduino and other sensor boards. I'm done with the soldering and this is how the ESP32 Wi-Fi module looks after soldering. The ESP32 module has a total of 38 pins including the LiPo battery connector pins. So you can use a LiPo battery to power up the ESP32 Wi-Fi module. Next to the LiPo battery connector, two male headers are labeled with 5 volt and ground. You can make your own 5 volt regulated power supply to power up this module. The power supply should be able to deliver at least 500 milliamps as per the data sheet. I think 5 volts regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator will work just fine, which I will cover in the upcoming videos. All the pins are clearly labeled. You can easily find the ground pins. TX and RX pins, 3.3 volt pins, analog pins, digital to analog converter pins, the SPI pins, etc. This way you can use the ESP32 Wi-Fi module with the SD cards, serial communication UART, SPI, I2C and I2S supported devices. You can also connect IR sensors pulse counters, capacitor touch sensors, motor PWM modules, analog to digital converters and digital to analog converter modules. This module also comes with the on-chip hole sensor. It has a 40 MHz integrated crystal, integrated SPI flash of 4 MBs and the operating voltage of the ESP32 module is 3.0 volts to 3.6 volts. The best thing about the ESP32 module is that it can be programmed using the Arduino IDE. So before we start the programming, first we have to install the ESP32, which is very easy. Let's do it. Make sure a latest version of the Arduino IDE is already installed on your computer. Copy this link, which you can find in the description. Open the Arduino IDE. Click on the file menu and then click on the preferences and simply paste the URL. Now click on the tools menu, boards and click on the boards manager. Search for the ESP32 and install. 
This can take several minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. Next check if the desired board is installed. As you can see, the ESP32 TIFF module is available. As you can see, the circuit diagram is really simple. An LED is connected with the GPIO pin 32 of the ESP32 module. The Eagle library of the ESP32 module can be downloaded from our website. You can find a link in the description. This is a simple LED blinking program. I'm going to use the IO32 or GPIO32 which is also the ADC channel 4. While the ESP32 TIFF module is selected, make sure the ESP32 module is connected with the laptop. Select the port. Finally, click on the upload button and wait for a while. As you can see, the LED is blinking. Now let's control this LED using the Blink application. The Blink library can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the authentication token which I simply copied and pasted over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. LED is connected with the same GPIO pin 32. The white setup function and the white loop function consist of the same instructions I have been using in all of my Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module based projects. I have already uploaded this program into the ESP32 Wi-Fi module. Now let's make the Blink application. Our application is ready. Now let's watch this project in action. As you can see, I can control this LED using the Blink application. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.